Hey YouTube, it's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's OwingsArt.com. Check that out if you get a chance. I have some drawings up there and paintings that I do with the products I review right here. Um, so without any further ado, this is a review about the Prismacolor Premier Pencil. Bam! There it is right there. This happens to be a violet Prismacolor Premier Pencil number PC932. PC932, and uh, this is one of a, uh, one of the pencils you get in a set of 72. Um, that comes in this handy tin right here, Prismacolor 72 uh, colored pencils, and uh, you can see the Premier right up here. On the back, you can see all the colors of the various pencils, um, this color guide for the pencils you'll get in this set. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the Prismacolor pencil. Who makes it? Where does it come from? Uh, what's its performance, et cetera, et cetera. Before we get into its individual performance characteristics, which I give you some detail on in this video. Um, Prismacolor brand is actually made, uh, founded by a company called Barrel Pen uh, Pencil Company, or just Barrel Company in 1938 in New York City. And before that, it may have had its roots with a company called Eagle Brand Pencils, or Eagle Pencils, also based in New York City. However, in 1995, they merged with a large company you may have heard of called Rubbermaid. So Newell Rubbermaid is the name of the company, and um, that was a marriage of companies in the past. So these conglomerates got together. They bought up the uh, Prismacolor line and barrel merged in there with them. So um, Rubbermaid's also, Newell Rubbermaid is also responsible for brands such as Papermate, uh, Parker Pens, um, let's see what else, Sharpie. Uh, most people have heard of a Sharpie, the big markers. But under the Prismacolor art product line and art supplies, there's all manner of kind of pencils, there's markers, there's charcoals, there's pastels. So if you go to prismacolor.com, you can see everything that they sell and market under the Prismacolor brand. This particular uh, Prismacolor Premier pencil line is a waxed base pencil. So the, the lead here, the center lead, that's the core is wax based. Um, a lot of people complain that the Prismacolors break off pretty easily. And one thing that I found is that if you use a machine sharpener, you're going to tend to, when you sharpen it, you put it in there and the machine is going to pull the pencil and there's going to be, uh, your tendency is going to be to overcorrect and torque it. And when you torque it, that's what breaks the lead. Now, I'm not blaming the consumer for this because the leads do tend to break pretty easily. However, I do have sort of a solution for that. This little thing here, and this is real glass, this is called an Alvin sharpener. It's made in Germany. And if you look inside here, it's just got like a, what looks like a standard, you know, pretty standard pencil sharpener. It says made in Germany. But this blade here is extra sharp, and you can change it out. And if you're having trouble with your leads breaking, and this goes for any pencil, oil or wax based, um, you can do this manually. Put these in here and then turn it. And that's a little bit easier. Um, you'll get less torque. Um, you can also put it in the jar itself and do this, but then your tendency will be to torque it a little bit too and you can have breakage. The other thing people do is just take a razor, standard like, uh, I want to say exacto knife, and they sharpen um, the edges that way as well. And that seems to work real well for some folks. So just a couple of tips there for you to make your pencil experience a little bit better. Um, I have used these pencils for a long time. Prismacolor's uh, Prismacolor sells a lot of these pencils. They may be the most uh, popular pencil uh, uh, company in the world. I'm not sure on that statistic. You, you can look it up yourself, but I know they sell an awful lot of Prismacolor pencils. My dad, who's also an artist and has been for a long time, swears by Prismacolor. Um, I will say right off the bat that Prismacolor isn't my first pencil choice. Uh, but I have and do use them, and they work great. Um, this Premier brand especially. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the individual performance characteristics here in a second. But let me just finish up by saying um, that uh, these are, are good pencils. And so, um, you know, my review will sort of reflect my experiences with them. At the end, I have a couple of drawings that I've done with these pencils. And you can see kind of the outcome of that. All right. Well, here we go with the individual performance characteristics of the Prismacolor Premier Pencil.
All right, so here's some of the colors I tested. I think I laid down uh, 10 as I usually do. Um, again, 72 pack here. Um, yeah, like 10 of these I'll test. And then uh, I've got, uh, let's start off with a green. All right, so I'll just start off with a standard green pencil here. And just seeing how the color comes out. Yeah. Pretty good, actually. Um, I like it. And uh, wax is good. It's got its own special properties. And um, apart from an oil uh, type based colored pencil, wax has its own uh, good qualities. And I like, I like the way it comes out, especially this true blue. This is really flows well. Um, I like this. I number all of these for you too on the um, on, on the guide. So if you just look back to that guide, you'll see the numbers. Now I like to try some lighter colors, and one of the things I um, so this beige isn't coming out very well, but I think that's because I just don't have it real sharp. I'll go back over it here, and um, yeah, it's okay. I like trying the lighter colors though because they kind of a good test of the um, pigment strength. So I'll use a Derwent blender here and try to blend this bl black a little bit. And uh, this is the PC935. And um, yeah, it blends pretty well. As you can see, it's uh, it, you know certainly uh, serviceable for good artist quality pencil. Yeah, I like it. My dad swears by these um, Prismacolors. I think he's used them forever. So, And he's created lots of great art with them. So uh, I think it's it's a good... It's a good thing. All right, and try the burnisher here to get a different effect. Now, you can't see this because of the camera angle, but and I wish I had a better way to show the sheen that's coming out of this. But it's almost like an eggshell type uh, sheen on that when you use the uh, burnisher versus the blender. So let's try a few more colors. You try this um, PC903. That's uh, sky blue or true blue that I was using, and um, see how well that blends up. Yeah, pretty good. I like it. Um, one of the things that people were saying uh, as I was reading through the uh, interwebs on this was that um, lots of people like complain because the wax pencil tips break. And so one thing they do is they'll take like uh, and put this pencil in a microwave for a few minutes or, or not a few minutes, but a few seconds. And apparently that softens the, the lead core enough that you can sharpen it pretty good in a and a standard mechanical sharpener but again I talked about this earlier I prefer not to use a machine sharpener if I can avoid it anyway so I mean I try them out but um, the wood around these Prismacolors is less less quality than you're going to find in an even higher quality pencil like maybe a Faber Castell or a Caran d'Ache pencil so I don't know I I just avoid machine sharpeners altogether um, on these but um, yeah the erasability here is pretty good you can see and I don't expect that you're gonna clean down to white paper when you erase this paper I'm using right here it's pretty toothy so the you know the color is getting in there and that's good pigment but what I'm really looking for here when I erase is just you know what's left when I'm done erasing you know is it is it clean is it smooth because you can also use an eraser as a blender um, you know and sort of a lot of people use erasers for a reductive technique when they um, when they draw. So um, yeah, this is just a standard pink pearl. That's all I ever use, just about. Um, I've got some finer erasers, finer tip. I have been using a Japanese one lately that's been pretty good, and I have to throw up a review on that. But you know, sometimes the uh, simple stuff's the best. So this is the Prismacolor um, Premier pencil line, and uh, yeah, overall pretty good. I think I'd rate this at about an 8 or 8.5 on a scale of 10. So that, that's pretty good. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst pencil I've ever used. Um, yeah, the Prismacolor Premier wax-based pencil um, is, is a good pencil. Um, and I've used it a lot. As I mentioned, my dad's used it and uh, swears by him. So yeah, that's the Prismacolor. I've got a few drawings that I did with Prismacolor, so I'll show you those here as we wrap up. But um, Certainly uh, worth the money. They're not the most expensive pencil in the world, but they're not the cheapest either, but I think they're a good value overall. So here's a few of the drawings I've done with Prismacolor pencils over the years, and um, 
uh, you know, they, you get the color and vibrancy you want from them. And uh, yeah, good stuff. All right. Well, thanks for checking us out and check out owingsart.com for more. Have a great day.